Now duplicate your particles there for each um, solid layer you have. I have four solid layers, so I'm going to duplicate it three times for a total of four particle layers. Each particle layer will be responsible for generating particles for each solid layer. Alright, so on this particle, we'll first make it generate this red layer. Go to emitter, and for the emitter type, change it to layer. On a layer, select your medium gray red solid, or whatever color you're using. Alright, I forgot to tell you, you have to set the solids to 3D layers. Now if you notice, the views, they all get really messed up. This, uh, the solids, they just change size and shape because it's 3D, so click on custom view and click active camera. That should bring it back to where it was before. Yeah, that happened to me and I freaked out really badly before. But I got it figured out now, so it's all good. So we should reapply this. Alright, so you see that it creates a new layer called Layer Emit. And that's for your emitter layer. For your medium gray red solid. It's locked and it's locked for a reason, so let's not touch it. Oh, and you can hide these layers. Show the particle layers though. I'll hide these for now, but you can see it's emitting red particles. It kind of comes out of my shirt. It doesn't look too good right now, but we'll tweak it later. So, you want to do the same with all the other emitters. Set it to layer. And let's do the medium gray orange solid. And do it for all the remaining solids that you have. Alright, so what we have is something that looks like this. You can see it kind of spreads out of my hands. Now first we want to trim the particles so they start appearing when I do my pose, which is about right here ish so we'll, we'll just drag it over a bit and line it up with the cursor so as they start disappearing they start emitting actually we could even bring that a uh, backward a little bit right here is good So it starts emitting as I start disappearing. Now we can tweak it to make it look nice. Okay. So, on your particle layer, you notice that there's not a lot of red, but there's a bunch of peach and uh, brownish. So we'll turn up the velocity for the medium gray red solid. And the particles per second. Actually here's a pretty cool thing. We, if we wanted it to spread out 
after I disappear we can set a keyframe where it starts I'll set a keyframe here and then I'll set a keyframe after I disappear maybe over here and I'll just turn the velocity it, velocity up so it kinda shoots out and disperses after I disappear and you can do that with all the layers so we'll make everything disperse Okay, so let's check it out. I, as I disappear, the particles emit, and then they just spread out and disperse everywhere. Now the particles, they're hanging right now in the air, and we don't want that. We want them to gradually fade away, so we'll select all of the particle layers, go to the bottom particle layer, hold shift, and click the top one. That should select all of them, and press T for opacity. Now, over here, set a keyframe. They should set a keyframe for all of them, and move over a bit, and just turn the opacity down to zero. And that should just fade the particles out over time. So they disperse, they hang a bit, and then they just gradually disappear. So let's give it a quick RAM preview. And by quick, I mean slow. But you can kind of see what's happening, right? The particles, they're dispersing everywhere now. And then they hang in the air for a while. And now we have a gradual fade out. I think that looks pretty good. So anyway, I think that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something watching this. I'm Anders. Thanks for watching.